Welcome back. In case you didn't see the video, I finally got my play button. I got a pretty nice parallax working. Check this out. That's how you're gonna enter the levels. It's pretty sweet, right? I hope I hope you enjoyed it. If you want the code right now, just go to my Patreon, it's free. Check this out, if you shoot at the fire, uh, it lights on fire, and then I got a hammer here where I can mine ore with it. I forgot I put so much ore in there. Uh, it won't have quite that much. And then um, look at these little details that I do. The horse randomly will animate its tail or its head. You see that? And uh, I, don't, I hope you guys appreciate little details like that. Here's Evelyn, the shopkeeper, and check this bat out. When I get when I got close enough, it looked at me, and you see its head uh, turning, and then it randomly blinks. The eyes sometimes it blinks all of them, sometimes it blinks one. So, you see that? Okay, so back to the parallax. So not only does this parallax left and right, it also parallaxes when I jump. Look how cool that looks. And that's what gave it that cool effect when I was coming in, uh, coming into the level. Up at the top, I have clouds. And you can see that the clouds, uh, it's a repeating pattern. If I zoom in, you can see this is repeating, right? And when you're doing um, art, you can use tile maps in Unity or not. The, these clouds, they're not on a tile map. It's just a sprite renderer. That part is just a giant white block, and then here's the cloud edge. But a, a really, really simple way to have something uh, repeat is to put it on tile mode. Um, not sliced. Sliced is for like buttons and stuff. Uh, you want to set it to tiled. Tiled means it's going to repeat. And now here, as I increase this, it's intelligent enough. This is what's awesome about Unity. There's a lot of good features in Unity. This right here just keeps repeating. And so you can use this to create like a, a chain that I, all you got to do is create one link. Oops, I bumped into the mic. All you got to do is create one link and then you can just tile it in, 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 as, long as, you, as long as you need. So you can do a lot of cool stuff uh, with this. And that's how I did the clouds, all right? But um, for the ground, by the way, the clouds do have the parallax script on, on it right here. And I will show you the parallax script. Just, just chill for, just chill for a sec. All right. The, this is a parallax sprite script. If you're doing like a, a pixel art game or a platformer, you're going to use the grid. The grid is for basically using a tile map. Like when you're drawing a level, you see the, the grid right here. Basically as I'm drawing a level, it's going to snap to that grid. And so for these background assets, they are a type of tile map. And so here I have a different script, which is called parallax tile map. A quick tip uh, is that when you have your tile map, create a couple of sections that you can mix and match. So for example, check this out. I can connect this piece, then this piece, right? And I can even repeat this piece. And this kind of lets me create uh, a unique background with very minimal assets. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of trees here and a, a basically a build your own tree. But um, you don't have to just tile uh, seamless backgrounds with this script because if I go to my trees here, uh, look, the trees aren't connecting, right? And so um, I can go over here and one of these uh, trees I have selected, whatever, this one right here, I can just add it to to the this, um, uh, this uh, parallax tile map and it'll tile this you don't have to actually connect stuff right you can have random uh, random objects just parallaxing in the background like these trees watch how cool it looks to see the different layers coming in at different different speeds coming up so let me minimize this by the way in unity you can go to game and then uh, while you're paused you can switch it and then when you unpause now I'm playing here. So you can switch between full screen or not full screen without restarting the pro uh, play mode or whatever. <clears throat> so super quickly, uh, let me go to uh, tr uh, trees. There we go. These trees right here. And you can see the parallax amount here I have really small. So if you see how s uh, quickly the trees are moving? Uh, not very quickly. So if I change this to one, now the trees <laughs> move with me. And what you want this for backgrounds because the backgrounds need to move slower. So a background would be like 0 0.9 and it moves very slow. You see how slowly those trees are moving? And then something that's really close up to the player would move really fast. That's why I have this at 0 0.05. But if I make it 0 0.01, now 
you can see that it's moving. Uh, if, if you make it completely zero, you see it's moving exactly the same speed as the ground. But that's not even parallax. If it's moving the exact same speed as the ground, that's just an object on the ground. So you don't actually want this to be zero. You want it to be something, uh, whatever, you know, a little bit higher. Uh, maybe like 0.5. You see that? But it, it is tricky to get all these numbers uh, right. You just got to mess with them. If you were super quick, want to see what I have. I have 0 0.6. I have 0 0.2 and then this was 0 0.05 which means it is barely moving at a different speed than the ground right here the ground that I'm running on and the ground does not have a parallax on it because I don't want to parallax uh, <laughs> the ground all right so for the Y that's obviously how much things move up and down and you see I got it looking like you can see into the distance but check this out this is for the forest if I make this zero It'll move exactly as much as I do. And it, and it looks okay, but it doesn't really look like it's going into the distance. And now if I make this like five, <laughs> you see the trees are, are moving up a lot. And if I make this negative five, then the trees, they're going to move down. And so you can have a lot of fun creating some pretty cool effects with this. Here's the code for both scripts. Uh, pause now, <laughs> screenshot, and copy it. These scripts are nearly identical. One of them is just grabbing a sprite. The other one is grabbing a tile map. Um, if you hold control and use the scroll wheel in Visual Studio, you can uh, make code bigger and stuff. So in, right here, it's using the, the camera and then it's getting the camera transform position. But you can get the transform position of any object. So you can really replace this camera with um, game object. And I think nothing will break. Rename this to uh, player or whatever. Now this is this will all be based off of the player instead of the camera. However, I think it's better to have parallax um, be based off of the camera because it means if the camera moves during like a cutscene, uh, the parallax will work correctly. I'll also upload this code to my Patreon. You can join for free. If I have the scene view open here, we can see how awesome that parallax looks. Let me move this over a little bit. And so as I, oops, I killed myself. Oh, man. oh, there's something, there's something important that I forgot to mention in regards to doing the, the loop. So if we look up here, we have the mountains and if I just run to the side, um, Oops, I forgot to hit the loop button. Uh, <laughs> Checkbox the loop button. So that way it, uh, it it loops the sprite. And so I'm running, I'm running, running, and it's not looping, right? And so you might think it's uh, it, it's broken, but if I keep going and I, it, it, you see that it moved, right? You need to basically do the first loop of it. Need to uh, do another one. And we should actually call this one left. And then we should call this one right. You need to basically put the same sprite on the left and the right side. And now that it's both on the left and the right side, when it teleports, you won't see nothing. Okay, so now I'm running. And let me zoom out here so you can see what's going on. I'm running and we can see the seam here, but obviously you wouldn't have a seam because you would make it uh, be a pattern that repeats. And uh, right now, as the camera got close to the edge, it teleported the whole thing. And it'll keep doing that, but it's not really, it's not visible to the to the player as it's doing that. The reason why that this green this green thing here that I have, that the, the that's just for like uh, ambiance. It's not part of the background, so disregard that. But anyway, I think you guys uh, get how to set it up. Uh, enjoy using the asset. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of uh, information that you probably didn't ask for. So the game you just saw, The Last Phoenix, it's going to have a Kickstarter. Hopefully you support it. If you want to chat with other game devs and pixel artists, join our Discord. By the way, I have a clothing line that's taking up a lot of space in my garage, so I'm giving away a bunch of shirts for free. You just gotta pay for shipping and handling. Thank you to these Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. I'm doing part-time work now, 
to have the time to <laughs> work on a video game and it's still taking forever. It's insane, an insane amount of work. And so you're supporting a struggling artist and I really appreciate that. I'll see you guys next time. A devla, oops, a devla.